So a long time ago, I drew a picture on Tumblr like this, showing a progression of a kid getting better at a round kick. Yes, that was me. Anyways, one day someone commented this. And so I drew a comic based on why people do that with their hand when they kick. Uh, you can check it out here on my Instagram, DeviantArt, or Tumblr. So with all the misinformation about this all-important kick, I thought it would be a great idea to look at different kinds of round kicks and different ways to throw them for different situations. So here is to be safe, I'm gonna say 80,000 different ways to throw a round kick. Keep in mind there are probably many more ways you can kick, but here are just some that we feel have caught a lot of attention in certain fields of martial arts, not in any particular order, and that can range from combative kicks to point sparring kicks all the way to performance kicks. Number one, the karate round kick. This one has a good simple fold, kick, recoil, and a set down. The snap of your leg can give you a fair amount of power and you still have a little bit of balance afterwards. If you tried to kick someone and you missed, most of your weight would still be on the standing leg. It's kind of like a switch blade. When you flick the blade out, it swings and then clicks, extending at the end. It gives the round kick a sharp ending towards your foot. Most of the impact you'll get will be on the top of the foot, which is great for head kicks. Also, this is a great kick for performing. The audience loves a multiple kick combo or a high thrusted round kick. Now, I know that karate is not the only style that claims this kick. I'm sure there are many other styles like Taekwondo and whatnot that do it too. I just thought that this is the most well-known variation. Number two, the Muay Thai kick. Muay Thai is a great style with a very powerful version of the round kick. Unlike the karate kick being similar to a switchblade, the Muay Thai kick is like a baseball bat. When you swing a baseball bat, it doesn't stop like a switchblade's flick, it completely kicks through your target. This kick is meant to hit your opponent dead on because if you miss, your balance will be way off. This kick is so freaking strong. Think of this also kind of like a straight line. Here's the karate kick. It's in a circular motion. Here's the Muay Thai kick. It's almost like a diagonal curved line shooting right into the target, with the point of impact being on the shin. This is why Muay Thai kickers can hit so hard. Rather than coming up and flicking, it slams right in. One concept you can think of with this kick is creating dead weight. Have you ever fallen asleep on your arm for so long and then you wake up and it's like actually limp? And if you swung your shoulder around, your arm would like flip flop and like slam into things and this totally happened to me once and it was really freaky. That's one way you can do this kick. You have to turn your hips and almost like in a limp state, let your leg lifelessly swing toward your target, only to pull it through and finish the kick once you hit them. The Muay Thai style kick is especially effective when striking someone's leg, using that dead weight concept you saw earlier. Another way that I've seen this kick be done is with a roller coaster motion where you fold your leg up and flip it down and bring your weight into the kick. Almost like you're sitting down on your leg kick. When you bend your leg on your standing side, more of your weight goes down into your kicking side. It might not feel as snappy and it might feel like you aren't making an impact, but trust me when I say your leg will be sinking into theirs. Small tip, when doing this kick, try to step off to the side. Because this kick takes a long time to load up, there's a big opportunity for an opponent to connect first with a straighter punch or kick. This kick was immortalized by the great kickboxer, uh, I'm just gonna try to read the Japanese and I'm sorry if I get it wrong, Glaube Feitoza, who mostly threw it off his lead leg. Nowadays, it's used by fighters like Holly Holmes and Wonderboy Thompson. The kick begins with the same setup as a front kick or teeth, but quickly arcs around and down at a near vertical angle. There are two great things about this kick. First, that the opponent often mistakes it for a front kick, which lowers their guard and leaves them super open to you slamming your foot into their head. The unique loadup also offers additional power, which is always cool. The next great thing is that even if your opponent leaves his guard up, the kick can arc up, over, and around to still make contact. Kind of like a question mark shape, thus the name question mark kick. Also because it leaves your opponent in a state of questioning. What? You can also begin this kick like a leg kick feint, something Glaube also did at the time. This version of the kick also takes a lot of flexibility. Good thing I'm drawing this because my hip flexors definitely can't do this in real life. Some like to set this up with kicks to the leg. One might kick the opponent in the leg a couple times before changing the kick into an S shape aiming for the head. It's easier to do this than the question mark kick because your round kick is already almost out. You just have to curve and lift your leg a little more and twist the hip down a little. The funky S motion also makes it kind of hard for your opponent to realize it's actually a high kick. Another use of this kick is to make it a low high kick. Doing a soft touch low with your first kick, and then since your kick is still traveling upwards, connecting that high kick afterwards. It shouldn't be like a bam one kick and then bam another kick, it would be more like a one two. Like the first kick was just a ricochet into the next one. This might be a better kick for things like point sparring since you might not get a whole lot of power off of it. I don't know, unless you want to be a show off in a match, I don't care. Inverted round kick. This one is just for fun. So basically it's a round kick that goes the opposite direction, which also takes a lot of flexibility. Instead of going inward, the kick goes outward. I don't think you can get a whole lot of power off of it, at least in the versions that I've seen, and it doesn't seem like a very practical kick, but it's a fairly good way to tag someone in a point sparring match or a cool move to use for your performance. So there you go, just fold your leg up like you're trying to smell your foot and flick that guy out. 
destroy your femur in the process. Lastly, we have the triangle kick, which is a ball to foot round kick. A fighter named Ryu Narushima has a lot of success in getting knockouts with these tight kicks to an opponent's liver. I learned about this fighter from a Jack Slack post on RMMA on Reddit, and if you can find that post, I'd check this guy out. His kicks are brutal. This one is very underutilized and is a very highly unlikely skill to be able to achieve without a lot of training because pinpointing your power is difficult. You have to train a smaller, more fragile part of your body and hit relatively hard with it. For this kick, you basically curl your toes up and use the ball of your foot, much like a traditional front kick, and jam it sideways into someone's liver, which requires a hard snap. You need a good angle and you need to train your hand foot coordination if that's what you want to call it. Some styles even use the toe knuckle to kick where you hit like this. Oh god why? Or straight up use the toe to kick. <laughs> which takes insane training and I'm not even gonna go into that. I accidentally hit my toe on a kick when I was sparring someone like two years ago and my foot like it look it's not the same. And there we go. Those are the variations of round kicks I've seen circulating in the martial arts. Will you use them in a match? In a demo? I don't know I'm just a dude on your screen. But I hope I at least made a very interesting video for you today. Thanks for watching guys, please feel free to leave any suggestions for what you might want to see more in detail when it comes to drawing of these animated segments, but uh, yeah, this is Iman Rashid from The Modern Martial Artist wishing you guys happy training, and hope to see you around. Huh? 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 I don't get it. Get it? No. Circle here. Oh, I get it.